Okay, so here I am in my AdWords uh, editor. I've already logged in and um, let's go ahead and create a new campaign and remember the campaign name must be exactly the same name as your campaign. So let's go ahead and we'll go into add campaign. We're going to create a CPM campaign for the content network and then here we're going to create the Yoga One content campaign. We can put a budget in if you want. Um, it's not really necessary for this demo but okay so we've created a campaign and the next uh, thing we need to do uh, of course if you've watched my other videos when we've created a campaign and then we we've exported all these things okay so let's go ahead and do the same thing just just to make it clear so first of all we're going to do the ad groups and we're going to do multiple my ad groups information includes the uh, campaign name as well as all the other ad groups CPM campaign we'll paste in here we'll click next and finish I'm going to do this really quickly because um, I've already explained how to do this in the other videos. So let's do our keywords now. So we go to keywords, multiple, cut and paste and finish. And we'll go ahead and do the ads now. And these are the text ads, okay? So we've done the text ads. So we'll go back in here, we'll go ads and we're going to do multiple ads okay and we're going to go ahead and put in our ads okay so let's go ahead and upload our images our image ads so we'll click on the image ads tab and then multiple image ads and just a word of warning here this this dialog box actually stretches but because my recording area is confined to this area here, I've just basically resized. But the, the next button is right down here and you won't be able to see that. Okay. So when I click that button, I'll let you know. Um, so first of all, we need to browse and to see all our images. So let's go ahead and go to the D drive, uh, dynamic banners, and then this folder here. And um, I just want to, choose something which is small but i don't think i'm going to find that okay let's just go ahead and choose the first one and as you know we have 42 um we have 42 images in here so let's just go ahead and select all of them like this and then we'll click open and hopefully oh there you go the 42 images came in here all right so we have all our 42 images as you can see here Okay, and we don't really need to worry about the display and the destination URLs. They're optional and we'll be dealing, we'll be taking care of them in the next screen anyway. So let me go ahead and let's see if I can, I can't even see the next button myself. That's why I need to kind of resize this. It's really, I think Google really needs to fix this. Anyway, you, you can't see the next button, but I can just about see it. So I'm going to click the next button and by default it fills in all this stuff so what we need to do is we need to actually remove all this stuff we don't need that and um, what we're going to do next is we're going to open our file so let's just go back to our um, dynamic banners folder and we selected the first folder if you remember so we need to open up this CSV file in a text editor I'm using ultra edit I think it's you know I've been using it for many many years I think it's a really good editor so control a control C to copy it or you can right click and say copy uh, we don't need this anymore uh, we don't need this and in here we're just gonna go ahead and click paste okay so now all our uh, image ad information is nicely in here we've got our campaign name as well as our ad group name and we make sure that we have this checked and not this checked here because we have all that information in here and I'm gonna go ahead and click next you obviously you can't see that but I'm gonna click next and there's our image ads all of them okay so these are all the image ads there were 42 image ads for the uh, for the first ad group so you can see the ad group name here it's called Stanga Yoga 
and it was a broad match obviously for content network we're only dealing with broad but there you go and then all you have to do is click the finish button which I'm gonna do and you can't see that and we're back in the main interface and here's the ads so all you have to do is go ahead and do that you know uh, let's do another one so add update again we'll browse to the file now we've already done this one so let's go back one let's go back and then we'll do the second ad group once again we'll do control a and we'll do uh, oh we don't need to do copy we'll just highlight all of them click open and here's all our uh, images once again okay don't need to fill out these URLs um, all we need to do is go down okay I need to bring this up again so I can see the buttons okay I can see them click next remove this and we're going to go back here and now we're going to the second folder go to the bottom and here we have 54 so this may not work okay guys um, this is all I'm doing all this from you know this is all live so if it doesn't work um, it won't work uh, so highlight control copy remove that and then in here control paste okay great it took it everything is good click next and here we have it we've got all our image ads and we'll click finish and we're back in so now we've got as you can see we've got image ads for that and the other one which is this one I believe okay so that's it and once you've done that all you need to do is basically post your changes back up to Google AdWords and you're ready to go okay so I hope you found this video um, useful and in the next video I'm gonna show you how to actually create your own banners okay and how these how to position all this stuff that you see here so you can totally create your own and um, watch the next video and you'll know exactly how that's done okay take care and, and I'll see you in the next video